So here we are folks with match number 39. It is Nigeria up against Argentina. So in goal for Nigeria is Ensuna, Uwomoro, Balugan, Abdali, Shegli, Iwobi, Ndidi, Moses, Obi Mikel, Musa and Iniciado up front. As for Argentina, Romero and Gold, Pacella, Marciano, Otamendi, Fasio, Pastori, Perotti, Messi, De Maria, Higuain, Aguero up front. So here we are folks, match 39, Nigeria up against Argentina. Now these boys and girls is a classic encounter of World Cup uh, nostalgia. They've met so many times, we'll talk more about that in just a second. Now Argentina in the familiar turquoise blue and black uh, jerseys. Whereas Nigeria in the familiar green, all green outfits, the Super Eagles. Now the state of play of this group in Group D, which also consists of Croatia and uh, Iceland. Nigeria currently top the pops, Argentina bottom of the table with just the one point. So Argentina have it all to do if they are going to progress to the knockout stages. A win today would make, uh, it depends on how they win. They get more if they can score. I think if they could if they win one nil. If Argentina were to win one nil, they would have four points, the same amount as Arg as Nigeria, and they would also knock down Nigeria's goal difference to zero, and Argentina's goal difference would go to zero as well. So they have the same points, same goal difference, but because Argentina. If they were to win against Nigeria, they would have that edge because of the result. But we'll talk more about that if that happens. Because right now, if it ends like this, Argentina are going home. Doesn't matter what happens in the other match. They are going home. So Argentina need to really bring it. They need to see the best of their strikers. They do have a wizard in Lionel Messi. Is it too little, too late? But let's just recap some of the fixtures so far. Argentina opened up their World Cup with a nil-nil against newcomers Iceland and then they took on Croatia and they lost 1-0 and right now they're under the cosh from Nigeria. Nigeria on the other hand they opened up with a 1-0 win over Croatia and they were held to a draw against Iceland. Again Iceland doing the business doing just enough to keep themselves in contention for progression in the next round but that is a foul it's going to result in a free kick in a really tasty position Who's gonna, what's gonna come of this? Nicely done, beautiful, beautiful effort by Argentina, but it's actually cleared by the Nigerian defense. So this match in the real world will take place on the 26th of June at the Kruskowski Stadium in St. Petersburg, the same time and the same day as Iceland versus Croatia. Now, let's go through some of the permutations of this group. We've already mentioned it a little bit, but in order for Argentina to qualify, they need to win. A draw is not good enough. Nigeria could settle for a draw, but that might not be enough. Or would it be enough? It would be enough. I think a draw would be enough for Nigeria to progress. So they'll be happy to sit back on the ball and just roll with it. They might not top the group. But to be honest with you, I think they would have taken that at the start of the tournament. The tournament just progression through the second round. As it's played in, headed in on goal. It's put behind for a corner. Now, what can Argentina do from the corner? It's floated in there. Headed away. But Nigeria just do about to get rid of it. Only just, though. So far, it's been pretty, pretty even. This would be the last tournament for Lionel Messi, you would expect. The last World Cup for sure. He might squeeze in another Copa America, but to be honest with you, I think he will be disheartened after this tournament if Argentina were not to progress. Uh, which is quite, it's quite frustrating to see Argentina struggle. They are, you know, one of the ever presence of the World Cup, kind of like Italy. It's, it's quite frustrating to see Italy not win the World Cup. It's also quite frustrating not to see Holland at the World Cup. Some of these key major nations that make the World Cup what it is are not going to be there. 
And that is the half, Nigeria nil, Argentina nil. As I was talking in the first half, it is quite sad to see some of the powerhouses not in the tournament. But on the flip side, you do get some new, something new, something different. And that is in the form of Iceland, in the form of Panama. You know, countries who have yet to experience the World Cup. And some countries that are, have not been around for one in a while. Egypt, Peru, all these countries have been, you know, those two countries have been at World Cups before. But it's, it's good to have them back. Um... I guess, you know, if I'm greedy, I just, you know, I don't like seeing, uh, I don't know. I like they have the big boys around, but I also have, uh, Iceland were a phenomenal treat to watch in, uh, especially the fans at the Euros. So hopefully they can repeat that um, uh, camaraderie and, and support at Russia. Kind of give the tournament a bit of a buzz. Anyway, cracking effort there by Argentina to try and find a, what, a goal that would flip this um this group on its head because a win for argentina is not necessarily enough in fact it would be enough it would be enough considering nigeria currently top of sorry yeah, i'm all over the place i'm i'm trying to do the maths in my head and i'm you know i, I don't know what's going on in the other other fixture right now it's it's, it's it's still up in the air, but Nigeria, if they're a goal for them, they are, they just need the point. They just need the point, and they are through. So, it will be, it will be, we've already lost Portugal. That is fact. We lost Portugal. And the winners of this group are likely to play uh, the runner-up in Group E, and that group consists of teams... Oh, cheeky wee effort of Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica, and Serbia. So the runner-up will, will, will face the winner of Group E, and the winner of Group D... Will f Is that true? Have I gone this backwards? I've probably done this but I tell a lie, boys and girls, I tell a lie. In fact, the winner of this group will likely face the runner-up of Group C, and that includes France, Australia, Peru, and Denmark, and we actually... In fact, we know the result of that. Um, France top the table and Australia in second. So the winner of this group will be playing Australia in my simulation, whereas the runner-up will be taking on France. And right now, Argentina are running out of time. Nigeria is just happy to just plow on through. Long ball, headed on. Can they get control of this ball? No. Deep down, I am rooting for Argentina. I, I do, but you know, I love Nigeria and all that, but it's quite sad to see the state of affairs. And there it is, commentator's curse, folks. Nigeria on their way to topping this group. No matter what happens in Croatia, Iceland game now, if the results stay like this, not only are Argentina out, but Nigeria are through as winners. And Musa is the goal scorer for Nigeria. 1-0 lead. Time is running out. Does not look like Argentina are going to have it in. They may have to score two goals basically within a couple of minutes. If you are new to this channel, oh my goodness, it's all going wrong. They're throwing it all away. Big yellow card for Aguero. But if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things World Cup related. We do simulate each and every World Cup game from each and every group. And there's plenty much more, including Cast the Cat and the football predictions. Previews and reviews when they do come around, the actual games and plenty other football content. So, this is the home. Don't go anywhere else. You can find everything you want right here. Nigeria in cruise control at the moment. So, attention will turn to match 40 between Iceland and Croatia, where Iceland will have it all to do to get themselves through. A draw is not good enough for them. They would need to beat Croatia. Long ball. Nigeria now. Looking comfortable. They're doing the business. Argentina will need some miracle if they're going to get themselves out of this jam. Oh my goodness. It's, it's pure class today, I'm afraid. Nigeria have been absolutely world class. They've taken the opportunities. They've hit some cracking goals. And the man, the myth, the legend. Is that Musa again? It is. Musa with a daily double. 2-0. 
points on the board. They're going through the next round as champs. Argentina joining the likes of Portugal on the way home. So no Messi, no Ronaldo in the uh, latter stages. And that's your lot, folks. Nigeria 2, Argentina nil. Just to recap some of the statistics. Four shots for Nigeria, two for Argentina. And of those four shots, two of them went in the back of the net. As for the goal scorers, there was only one. That was Musa with a daily double. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.